So a lot of people have been having a hard time with the Warwick comp that I showed a few days ago for the Tower's Trials Chaos Mode. So in this video, it's going to be a much easier to execute comp, which is going to be a Vagar 2 comp. And it's going to net you a lot of points as well. So it's definitely going to beat your high score if you don't have a score of 3 million and up yet. So yeah, my name is Gids and in this video, we're gonna be doing a tutorial or guide for the Vagar comp on Tower Strials Chaos Mode. If this video is going to be helpful to you guys, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more of course, and leave comments down below for any suggestions or for any help and advice that you need. Okay, so the core of the comp is basically what we have on this board right here already. Okay, so again, this is going to be just Vagar 2. You don't need Vagar 3. Vex 3 is okay because you're gonna be getting double lesser champion duplicators later on in the game. So getting 7 Vexes or rolling for 7 Vexes is fine. But again, it's not mandatory. You can actually win this one with a Vagar 2 star. A Ve Vex 2 star, not Vagar. Okay, so how we get to this board, I'll tell you all about it. But first, the mechanics of Vagar. Vagar in this game mode basically scales with this mechanic or points system that's called item greed. How item greed works is based on how many components you have on your bench. Okay, so these are components that are not slammed on the board. They're just on your bench. So for each component that you have, it's 7,500 points. So you can see how fast you can scale this up. Because for each item, again, 7,500 points. And for Vagar's passive, he gains 2 AP for each 2,500 points okay, of item greed. So that means for each component, that's already a plus 3 AP on Vagar that you have on your bench. Okay, That's plus 3 AP for each component on your bench. And for uh, I think you can have max of 10 items on your bench. The problem is that you're gonna be having a golden remover over here and some other random stuff. So I think at most you can have like eight, seven or eight. You can have like eight to nine components for each turn, but that's already plenty. That's already plenty for the Vagar. Okay, so it's going to scale up so much. That's like almost two, more than 20 AP per turn. One third. What? 131 AP already. What? So the more items you have on your bench, the better it is for him. So this is also why the item recommendations that I have here are these things, right? So it's a gunblade for sustainability. We have the Regent, Nasher Stoot, and Blue Buff. Okay, Blue Buff, of course, can always be swapped around with the Spear of Shojin if you want to. I don't really recommend getting a Regent Shojin or a Regent Gunblade because you don't really need the extra stats from them, extra healing, you don't need it. Extra attack speed is really good because of the multiple casts, the faster casts that you can get. I don't also recommend the Regent Blue Buff because Regent Blue Buff requires you to kill something and then you're gonna get 20% more damage. You don't need more damage on this one because at the end of the game, you're gonna have a Vagar that has like bonus 300-400 AP, okay? So you don't need it. Also, if you're having trouble picking up orbs because of the bench space, you can always just put random items onto random units that you have as long as they don't combine and use your remover afterwards after you pick up all the orbs. Also, use all the lesser duplicators that you have, even reforgers, reforge whatever components you have on the bench because you don't need them. So let's go on and look at how you build up this comp. Okay, stage one, you're gonna have Soraka, Seraphine, and Lilia. Okay, so any one of this, if you can 3-star it, you can try to 3-star it. But if not, 2-star is actually enough. 2-star of these guys is already enough for the initial stages. And of course, you're gonna have Lilia, or not Lilia. You're gonna have Seraphine or Soraka carry your items. I recommend Seraphine first because you can actually do some item greeting at this point by not building the third item on Vagar, which is going to be a Gunblade actually. Gunblade is the one that you're gonna greed and Nasher Stoot is gonna be on this one. So this is like before the J stage, okay? On the J stage, you're gonna want to be level 5 at least. If you're level 4, it could be risky but I think it's doable still, okay? At J stage, you need to get your mage trait going. So you have double cast on Seraphine, Soraka, and Galio. And if you can put on another Vanguard unit here, I usually recommend Blitzcrank because it's pretty easy to hit him as well. So a 2-star Blitzcrank, 2-star Lilia, 2-star Soraka, 2-star Seraphine should be able to clear the J stage. Again, positioning matters on this one. Well, not so much because Seraphine is going to snipe the backline. 
uh, triple ashes on this side on the right side right here and you can actually position soraka on the top left side so that she can start targeting the three ashes on the top left side if she doesn't have items i think it's still doable she can still do it but if you have her three star she can definitely do it it's so much easy this stage is so much easy with a three star one cost unit like for example seraphine because she one shots everything in the back line lilia three star can also just infinitely tank everything right so yeah th that's going to be an easier version if you can get a three star okay so yeah this is going to be your comp level five and then level six level seven you can start adding in vex and vegar okay level six level seven is vex and vegar the time that you transition into vegar the items into vegar is usually at two star vegar once you have a two star vegar you can start swapping the items over and you can start building your gunblade on him as well and put him on the corner okay so this is all the items that you need you don't need anything else again the only time you want to build tank items is during the fairy fight six fairy fight because that's usually another stage where you can lose because of that katarina with an edge of night okay so at that point you probably want to have a vex two star and you can just backline everything and of course build your items for vex best in slot items for vex is spark crown guard and your gargoyle okay so these are like the only six items that you want to build ever wait is this yeah this is a regent gunblade xd don't need a regent gunblade <laughs> you don't need a regent gunblade but basically this is going to be your core team level seven okay level seven of course if you randomly get if you randomly get the mages like nami or randomly get a nora and yumi of course you can put it in here right you can always just do that and yumi of course always on vegar all right so this is how you cap out the board so basically yeah so you have again seraphine and soraka right here two star and two star but for now we have this okay every every item that you get is going to be saved up for the item greed mechanic as far as augments go it doesn't matter <laughs> really augments doesn't matter on this one but for silver augments i usually like picking uh, buried treasures one so buried treasure i don't think you can have buried treasures in here yeah there is no buried treasures one anymore but it's the silver version of buried treasures it's going to give you two components two components basically 1500 points no 15 15 000 points every end of the stage if you don't slam it so if you leave it on the bench that's extra ap for vegar okay so like at this point you just want your vegar to scale so you don't want to build any items okay like this is all you need later on in stages three or later stages of stage two and stage three early stage three you're gonna be dropping completed item anvil that's the time when you can start picking out items for your other carries like for example some more spear of shojins for example or maybe static shiv but you don't need static shiv because you already have a spark blue buff for example and probably edge of night edge of night again very very important for your three star five costs later on in the game if you are not sure if you can beat the later stages okay or the last stage of the game okay that's basically the layout the groundwork for this whole comp everything once you hit this board at level seven or you have two star vega two star vex you can aim for three star vex but i don't really recommend rolling a lot on stage or on level seven because again we're saving gold for a three star five cost there is no other way for you to be able to finish this game mode without a three star five cost okay so just to finish out the board once you're while you're leveling up you get nora yumi and of course nami over here and then you can just take out this take this out put in any other five costs that you can put in okay briar morgana Serat can also have Preserver over here or you can just have the two cost Preserver Zillion over here for Chrono and Preserver. Okay, so everything else is already like adjustable. Everything else is adjustable. Again, best 3 star 5 cost that you can get of course is going to be Serat because of his charm that costs zero gold but gives you infinite gold if you ever finish that stage which will help you try to find more 3 star 5 costs. Okay. For the 3 star 5 cost, never build a 3 star Briar because 3 star Briar is going to fear the whole team and it's not good for you. You're gonna lose. 
3 star Morgana also is very very bad, don't build it because it's going to turn all your units into useless bats and once the enemy Morgana splits into 3 star 5 costs, you're gonna lose because your other 3 star 5 costs are basically useless so I recommend them at just 2 stars. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the guide. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any other suggestions, guides, or anything that you want me to look into, let me know again in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and good luck. Here is my final score. With the evil 3.3 million good luck beating this one because i'm pretty sure someone out there is going to be beating this one for sure anyways thank you very much again see you again next time bye bye but you keep me on red oh everything is like a test i better not text or i'll come off desperate what if i lay down and i play dead and i